Whoa, I am pretty sure you shouldn't have a weapon at work. Literally everything is a weapon, son. That folder in my hands is far deadlier than this bow in yours. Oh, that's probably true. So Leslie and I just finished putting together our will, and she wants you to be the witness. You mind signing it? That's your will? You need that many pages to say, give my stuff to my wife? It's a complicated legal document. Doesn't have to be. I've had the same will since I was eight years old. Upon my death, all of my belongings shall transfer to the man or animal who has killed me. Where are these weird symbols? The man who kills me will know. Okay, you, you should really have a will that's more than one sentence long. You have a wife and kids now. I could introduce you to our lawyer. The three most useless jobs in the world are, in order, lawyer, congressman, and doctor. Pass. Ron, that document is nothing. It's not even notarized. You know, if you die and you don't have a real will, most of what you own will go to the government. Where is this lawyer you speak of? Mr. Swanson, let's begin by filling out this form listing your assets and liabilities. Nice try. I'm not telling you how much money I have, where it's hidden, or which precious metals and or gemstones it may or may not take the form of. If you don't give me the information I need, there's nothing I can do. Oh, come on, Trevor. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to say this one last time, Wyatt. Check the accountant crap at the door. Yes, sir. I will. Unintentional. I don't even need an exact number. Just ballpark it. That's all I need to get started. Or I'm sure the state government would love to use your money to hire more bureaucrats, maybe build a library. Fine. A ballpark figure. Thank you. God. Holy <laughs> Is this a joke? Another word for jokes is lies. I do not lie, therefore I do not joke. Mr. Swanson, an estate of this size means that your children would never have to work a day in their lives. This is going to take some time. Trusts need to be drawn, tax shelters. That's enough. I do not need some drawn out legal expedition to tell me what I knew when I was eight. Here's my original will. Do whatever lawyer nonsense you have to to make it official and I will sign it. Good day. Wait, what are all these symbols? <laughs> I was right not to be threatened by you. We need to talk. That has never been true. I think I know what's happening. Thinking about how to divide up your possessions for when you die, it's tough confronting your own mortality, and I think it's got you spinning a little bit. Am I right? Wow. I had not considered that. Yes, I think that maybe you are onto something. Yeah. Just know that it's perfectly healthy to be thinking about... Oh, you're joking. Yes, son, I am. First joke ever. Don't care for it. Death does not scare me. What I am worried about is spoiling my children. I don't want them to be the kind of people who never work, live off their trust funds, who buy their wooden furniture. I will leave my children $50 a piece for the cab home from my funeral and a steak dinner. End of discussion. Okay. I mean, look, it doesn't matter how much money you leave your kids. What matters is that you teach them the right values. But if something horrible happens and you want your kids to be left alone with no safety net just so they can learn some kind of weird lesson, then by all means, leave your fortune to the wild boar who gores you to death. And never lose to a boar? Benjamin, after thinking about what you said, I've decided to leave each of my children 5% of my fortune. Wow, five whole percent. So I guess you are gonna teach them a lesson. Oh my God, that's five percent? That is a lot of money. Wait, is this a joke? It is not a joke. Not that an accountant would know the difference. Also, if something should happen to Diane and me, we decided that the kids should go to the most important people in our lives. Ron, I'm, I'm incredibly flattered. Ralph Piatkowski and his wife, Helen. He's the maitre d' at Mulligan's Steakhouse, and he knows me better than anyone. However, if they are not able to do it, which seems likely as they're in their 90s, you and Leslie are choice number two. I'm honored.